Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Mag Mammal Episode Zero. And I just did a whole bunch of stuff that realized that it wasn't recording. I'm absolutely certain that I hit my recording hotkey, but maybe something happened. Anyway, first thing we're going to do is go back to Dr. Wily's secret bunker. There's not really anything else here. There's no more, uh, uh, I can't talk to Dr. Wily anymore. Nothing else in the shop. I did change back to OG Zero because uh, we did just complete another path. Um, and I've noticed that there's some doors in the background here that look a lot like these, this door, but can't go through any of them. However, one thing I did notice, we do have some more um, uh, arenas to go after. So we have Zesty Expedition and Spicy Adventure with 10 and 12 bosses respectively. I'm not going to do those now, but I'm probably going to do them before Sarara Base. I'll probably do one in the middle of uh, Ice Path and then one at the end. Next thing I was doing was going to Mega City and seeing if there was anything else there that hadn't been talked about before. There's not too much new here, but we do have this guy. What's that look on your face? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Uh, no, I've just seen a Volt Man. That's just as bad. Anyway, another thing I wanted to, I was checking out was Heat Man. So he's talking about giant elemental security robots that are roaming around the wilderness. I'm feeling like that might be some kind of, like, either late game or post game type thing. Uh, I don't know what, but uh, we'll find out apparently. Oh yeah, we've got some portraits too, by the way. Venus is ranting about sewers because there's a sewer level in like every game. Another thing though that we have is, hey, a completed dojo. And the guy who's rethinking his life choices. All that wasted work and we didn't even get paid? All he gave us was some proverb about the winds of change before kicking us into the sky. Maybe we need to rethink our lives. Yes, I think you might. <laughs> and we have Tomahawk Man. I think this is the first time we can actually talk to him. Yo, ponytail guy, how's it been? For me, it's been the same as usual. In other words, putting up with the Amado Man's strange requests. Hmm, what's that behind this blocked off door? Nothing much interesting, it's just where I store the te simulation teleporters for now. Until the simulations are programmed in, they're pretty much useless. Which makes sense. <laughs> and here we have Yamato Man. Hello there, Red Grasshopper. As you can see, this dojo is much smaller than it once was, but I don't need to bother with size anymore thanks to the power of simulation technology. Is there anything it's not good for? In fact, you can see that experimental simulation right behind me. Feel free to use it any time. Think of it as a reward for besting me in combat. In the future, I want to have a lot of virtual arenas, but constructing battle data from scratch is quite the effort for an old samurai like me. For now, our only virtual arena utilizes the user's own memories to construct re recreations of previous duels. Which, to be honest, sounds like way more advanced than programming in battle data. Are you kidding me, Yamato Man? You're pulling directly from my mind and that's supposed to be the simple method? Anyway, that's not currently very useful for the larger populace. You seem like a robot with a lot of combat skill under your belt. Surely you have a lot of foes worth rematching. If not, then you at least have me. Ha 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 ha. And uh, on his other uh, conversation path, we get to ask how the dojo has been. In the end, it probably took me more effort taking down the nests those construction workers made than if I had just built it myself. In a way, though, I'm glad they messed up as much as they did. I feel the smaller size makes this dojo so much more convenient. No? So far, though, our only simulation isn't all that useful to the general public. Only our regular client so far has been that green toad robot over there. Though I'm not actually sure if he's getting any stronger. 
And of course, we do have Toad Man. <coughs> Grr! I keep using the stupid memory simulation thing to fight that blasted blue robot over and over, but he always wins. How does he do it? He can't keep getting away with this. Well, you just need to change up your tactics a little bit, Toad Man. Like, uh, not freezing every time you get punched in the belly. But yes, we have bosses. Um, and they all have a difficulty rating. Most of them, ones that we have right now are rated 1 through 3, although there is the occasional 4, apparently. Oh, your Doc Robot Overloaded does seem to be fine. And we've got a few blanks here because there's a few, uh, those are going to be from the Ice Path. So you can see there is a an intended order, very clearly. Fire, Ice, Lightning, Psychic. I decided to uh, screw around with that a little bit. Huh, also interesting. I'm sure there's a Swara Matt, but we haven't actually seen that guy here. I thought we'd see him at the end of the last path. Maybe he'll show up at the end of the next. Anyway, yeah. So we've got a. There's a few bosses here that are. Fifteen? Really? Okay, let's see if we can... Let's, I've got to try this out. Alright, come on, Mega Man. Let's get... Oh. So that's how he does it. He cheats. Well, to be fair, that is our memory, and we haven't had a memory of winning against him yet, so I suppose there's some validation to that. Also, I forget if we've actually seen Metal Man here before. <laughs> I'm here now, bright and early. Soon enough, there should be droves of people asking for my autograph. No, they'll just be asking for your weapon. And on the subject of weapons, we have a Zap chip now. So, our Zap Chip offers us four new flavors of offense. This three-way shot is kind of short range. I'm not sure how much I like it. It's probably going to be a little bit uh, tricky to use. Z-Saber, this is ridiculous and I love it. Although, again, it's short range horizontally, but it's great. There's a lot of of vertical stages here, so. Our, our multi-shot here, our first shot, is much longer range, but much smaller spread. I think I'm going to reserve judgment on that one until I see how well it uh, multi-hits. And then we have the drive. Which is literally Scramble Thunder. Like Scramble Thunder with bad graphics. Very nice, programmers. I see you put a lot of effort into that one. Alright. Well, the next thing I want to do is uh, go to Construction of Constructions and see if I can uh, get that CD and the other CD that I'm missing as well. Because I think that with three out of the four weapons should be enough to get there. Um, that was not a CD. That was an item of some sort. But I know I'm missing two here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to call Galaxy Man and see what he has to say about that. <laughs> you gotta go left at the first junction. You'll be in some metal area. You'll need a bunch of chips to solve the puzzle. Okay, what's the other one? Okay, so one... Oh, okay. So at one point you're gonna see this huge set of stairs, right? Cool, right? Well, climb down them instead of up. 
Then you'll be treated with a little surprise. Alright. I don't think I remember that, but, uh... We'll find out. Alright. Nothing... He just says nothing different, despite the fact that we are clearly in a, uh, uh, state where we have already gotten his, uh, thing freed. Oh. Oh, wow. This is actually, this actually freezes enemies. Interesting. I'm still not sure how much I like it. Yeah. It's also, and, and no, it does not appear to be very good for Mulder getting. Well, maybe. I don't know. It's. I'm not particularly impressed. That's just how it is. You'd think lightning would be one of those ones that would be the most interesting, though. You're not going to be cooperative at all. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can do this. The, I, my quick switch is not working very well. And neither is my slow switch, to be, to be perfectly honest. We got it. Ah, okay. Now we can move on. So we've got stairs that we need to find. Ah. Uh, that didn't go so well. Alright, I'll be back when I find the stairs.
All right, there we are. Really? That's our Yoku block? And there's our CD. That took a while. Mostly because I kept failing. Ah, right, but we can see what we got then. We got Dr. Hyde, a member of the Fessel Committee and the researcher into simulation technology. The creator of the drive system, she is happy to give it to Zero to help him stop sorrow. She is known as a skilled programmer, creating many facets of simulations that confounded her peers, and she's rumored to be working on a simulation that uses a person's memories as a basis. Those, perhaps someone should tell her to stop pulling all-nighters. Yeah. <coughs> One of those tears did not go so well. And we got the Hyper Picket Man. Gone mad with power, this picket man mounted a menacing machine intending to wreak havoc on all things construction adjacent. While it is known that an energy element is at the center of the incident and was recovered, what a simple power battery has to do with driving work robots crazy remains a mystery. Even with the incident quelled, however, the construction of the pit of pits expe is expected to be delayed due to Galaxy Man being easily distracted with new ideas and plans. It does take a while to get that available. All right, well, this was definitely a fillery episode, but uh, we are going to get right on to the ice path next. So, anticipation. But that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.